Welcome, everybody, to another edition of Three Comic Monty, presented by CBSI, comicbookinvest.com. Me and the guys here are here to do Metamorphosis. This should be a good one. I've got with me Mike Morello, Peter Renna, Chris Nelms, and, of course, Ben C. from the Undisclosed Bunker that he does all production from. <laughs> How are we, guys? Good. good. Hanging in there. Good. All right. Continue to check out comicbookinvest.com for all your investing and comic book information needs. Topher's True First are still killing it. And as we approach the first new comic book day in a while, please check it out. We're going to have some great stuff. And uh, let's get into this, guys. What do we want to... Uh, this is going to be good. I'm, I'm excited for this one. This is a it's this is a lot of interpretation. Yeah. Yeah, this, exactly. this was a weird one, man, because you could go in a lot of different directions. And I was honestly baffled at first what I would pick. And then, then they all kind of came to me at once. So I spent a long time digging through the boxes before I made choices. So, Mike, yeah. let's start us off. All right. Going with this. Oh. Jean Grey becomes Phoenix. Issue 101 X-Men. I, I, I wanted this book in a nice high grade for a long time. It's got a little bit of a soft corner down here. And I know this book has gone down a bit since the movie kind of sucked. But um, <laughs> but I still love the book itself. It's a great book. And um, it's a great book. It's just just maybe maybe the best cover in the whole run. It's probably debatable. There's a couple of other great ones. But I think this might be the best sort of Claremont era mm. X-Men cover. Love One it. of the few books to be screwed up by two movies. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to go next. And uh, I took this a little wildly different. <laughs> I went with Showcase 66. <laughs> okay. Wanna Beasts. <laughs> For those of you that have no idea who this hero is, because I'm sure there's one or two of you have never had, <laughs> his superhero ability from gaining a mask from uh, the jungle is to combine two animals into one and use it. <laughs> Yes, he wants to make a bow and look like Owl Man if he was a wrestler. The only reason I know of this character is because he was on Teen Titans Go in a tryout episode, and everybody laughed him off the stage. But that is his power to transform two animals into one. It looks like one of those uh, Mexican wrestlers. That he does. He's he is Libre. a lucha libre type character. <laughs> he was in the Batman Beyond show too, wasn't he? I, he shows up a few places. He he actually shows up on I think uh, um, Young Justice even, and it's like. <laughs> How do you keep digging this guy out? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Peter, what do you got? Uh, well, uh, I don't know how I could follow Bawana Beast, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> speaking of Batman, I went with this Batman with the Court of the Owls because it's oh. just him, like, I don't know, morphing into an owl. Or whatever. Yeah, I don't know. It's just a, love a that awesome cover. image by Capullo. This is one of my favorite covers from that uh, New 52 run. So. I just went that way with it. I wanted to go with the X-Men, as I usually do, but I already used it, so I couldn't do the Wolverine. More from the Wolverine. <laughs> There's a lot but of hallucinogens time. involved in that cover. <laughs> so I went Batman. All right, Chris. Going to knock into you. What do you got here for round one? As typical, I, like, I sort of like these connection covers, and this one came out just recently, but you get the entire oh, yeah. transformation of Miss Marvel into Storm Ranger. So you got Miss Marvel... Well, with Marvel, and then you have the actual metamorphosis happening on cover eight, and then you have finally. Well, it's really hard to I'm do. I'm missing one of them. And Storm Ranger, but it's it's a really sort of cool thing, and just from the looks of it, they're actually going to use her more than just a random one-off thing. They're, I think she's on Empire Storm Ranger episode, uh, issues coming out over the summer at some point. So. Interesting choice to use a series of comics. <laughs> well, it it works together all more. <laughs> All right, Mr. C, what do you got for us? I'm afraid to ask. All right, so everyone's familiar with that Marvel Tales that's the first Werewolf by Night, but it's not really. It's just the first title of Werewolf by Night. It's not the actual guy. Um, Tales of the Zombie. Um, Simon William Garth, the dude that first appears in Tales of the Zombie, but he doesn't really. He first appears in Menace Number 5. Oh, Jesus Christ. Wow. <laughs> <Menace fun. laughs> Just go old school on us, man. Like, wow. yeah, man. It's the story of how he was created or like his origins all fucked up too. But right on the first page, I don't know if you guys, if I'm holding it right, I can't see. Yeah, but, yeah, we got it. Good. 
What a gorgeous. That's a great cover, and uh, uh, I don't. Yeah, underappreciated, but fantastic. An under uh, under the radar enough Marvel character right now that people might be paying up for Tales of the Zombie one, but if anything happens with this dark Marvel, this will be the next Tales, what is it, 13-ish group? I'm going to hmm. call it under-recognized. Yeah. yeah, that's a Not great value, recognized. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, this is still, I mean, <laughs> yeah, I shouldn't say under value. So. Yeah, but it's, yeah, again, it's not on instant recall for people to go, oh, yeah, I know what you're talking about when you say Menace 5. People in the Golden Age, in PCH circles, most people know what it is. And outside Wait, of that, it's really, it's interesting because folks are like, what? The first appearance of the zombie, they don't actually make the connection. So. Yeah. I only made the connection when I researched the, the, the horror uh, usual suspects I did a while back. Otherwise, I wouldn't have known what it was. Yeah. All right, Mike. I'm sorry you got to follow that one up. What do you got? Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the the book that everybody else sold except me. I kept it because I love the cover, and I, I definitely ate a lot of possible profit. But I love uh, the uh, Stephanie Hans oh, X Men Blue Twenty One that got ridiculously hot for a while because it's a pretty rare book. Um, the in process of being venomized cover, uh, Jean Grey being venomized. This was a one in fifty. Um, from a book nobody freaking ordered by the time it got to issue 21. But I still love the cover. I'm going to hold on to it because I, I think it's a beautiful yeah, it's cover. A great cover. It is gorgeous. So I like Can't the colors wrong. a lot. Yeah, me too. I think that's what does it for me is the colors. From an art standpoint, that is a extremely nice cover. Yeah, I mean, I think yeah. it's Han's best work. She's got some great stuff, don't get me wrong, but I think this is the best overall composition. Just fill in the, fill in the page kind of a thing. Just great. Here's one of those Han ones that I used. I'm not using it, but that is on the back behind me, right here. The I think oh this, yeah, this is, this is the version of the. I can't remember which is this. Unc Do you remember what issue this was? I don't remember it. No, it I, mean, I, remember, yeah. I remember the cover, but I don't remember what issue. Yeah, I missed it. All right, so for Ben setting Mike for failure, I am setting Peter for glory because I chose what you will all judge as a terrible, terrible book, but I cannot ignore this. <laughs> oh my God, that's all right. this. Prime. The uh, wow. This is the annual number one because it's showing him from child size to man size in transformation. Uh, I wish I had Captain Marvel Adventures four, which to me is Shazam, the original kind of Prime based character, but a guy that kind of generates a superhero out of sludge from his body. That's Metamorphosis to me. Yeah, I like Prime. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, you. you it was and, the, one of the best Malibu books was Prime. And I have some original art, and I'm a junkie, so I'm sorry to all of you that you have to watch this. And Ben is crying <laughs> in the background going, this is the worst <laughs> book that CBSI has ever had focused on any content. Well, it isn't kicked off YouTube. <laughs> no, exactly. Watch out, there's going to be some sales. Because <laughs> if anyone has it listed on eBay, that's impressive. Hey, it's a great Norm Burfogel, so let's not judge the other guy. We don't talk about him. How else were they going to get their 25 cent profit? Yes. All right. So, <laughs> Peter, good. If you can't follow it up, I'm sorry. All right. Well, I went with uh, I, this is a Peter copy because I found this for a buck. It's got spine roll at the ass. But I went with this uh, Nick Cardi. Oh, I almost went with that. With that's a great hand. cover. It's, it's just awesome. And again, I paid a buck for this, so I don't care that you know the cover is an inch over this way from the back cover. But uh, <laughs> it's mine. I'm all, all over the place. But, I love uh, that. That's the one, and I didn't have one. That's why I didn't shoot. I was so pissed that I didn't have it. I, I like. I had it. And I was like, I think it fits. So I'm going with Metamorphosis with that. It's guy. sitting in my cart right now, waiting to buy one. So. <laughs> <laughs> Nick Cardi's my boy. He's one of my favorite artists, so congratulations on that one. Yeah. All right, Chris, what do you got? So this came out of uh, – I got bored and did one of those Facebook auction sales and just coincided Ooh. with choosing Metamorphosis. This is the Occult Files of Dr. Spectre, and then you see it's a werewolf, and you can actually see him transform on the – let's see. You can see him transforming on the cover. Um, right. the That's awesome. What I do love, though, is you see how it's Dr. Spectre's uh, most – how Spectre spelled differently than on the cover. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, are you kidding me? I mean, that's, that's like a Morbius or whatever on the, what is it, Sp Amazing Spider-Man 102? But like the entire freaking fucking title is Spectre. And then it's 
he misspells it on his own cover. <laughs> yeah, it's right there. <laughs> it's probably on the check that he got paid to do it. Yeah, true. <laughs> That's amazing. I love it. Oh man, Mr. How is that, C. How is, that was Morbius misspelled. Mobius. Uh, I think it's spelled like the artist, the Mobius. Oh, Mobius. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Mr. C, what do you got? Uh, for those who don't who aren't familiar with like the beginning of Thor, like the origin of Thor, he was an old scientist, like with like a cane and shit that went into a cave. Um, Donald Blake. So I went with that. Oh, <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> well, I tried to hide the grade because it's kind of. Sh- uh, I was actually trying to think: was there a cover of him like transforming from Blake to him, and I. Couldn't I think there it. is like 150 or I don't, I don't own it, but yeah. I appreciate what you did with this one. That's yeah, nice. definitely. Because so. I mean, the old Hulk uh, um, TV series had Donald Blake, and it's like, oh yeah, mm. he turned from that to the Beast. Right. So even Hemsworth, he the her ex boyfriend uh, Donald Blake was the name of the Doctor. Like they had a little call back in the first Thor yeah. movie. Yeah, they did. All right, Mike, can you take us out of this strong? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I did go with this cover because uh, he is he is transforming into all those little panels. I, I, yep. I love it. I love that. I, I mean, it's, it's actually kind of a terrible cover, um, but I do love it. Um, I think each panel is great, but, um, so but yeah. 70s. yeah, it is so yeah, 70s. All, 70s. The, all the borders and extra stuff. And oh, man. Um, but yeah, I, it, it was the first one that popped into my mind when we came up with the topic. So. Who's the SS? Uh, uh, Neil Adams. I assumed, but I didn't want to not ask. Yeah. Yeah. It's a nice book, my friend. Nice book. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so, another book that I am kind of famous for loving. I had to choose. I'm going to follow Pine. <laughs> <laughs> the Changeling, uh, a.k.a. Oh, Beast Boy. Nice. Nice. How can you not do Metamorphosis for a man that? Is green and changes into everything. In a nine four too. Sure wow. Thought of that. Yeah, nine four. Jeez. Yeah, this was an eight at one point and got a little press and a little regrade and very much the highest wow. I've ever seen. That's not a little regrade. It's a little yeah, press seriously. And a huge regrade. Uh, they, <laughs> if you look at it closely, this side is light and they called it um, fading. But I think when the other company looked at it, they said no, that's not fading. It's uh, print ink run ink, out ink issue because all the other stuff is very bright it's just this blue got a little faded yeah so it's not sun damage it's just the ink run went a little wild Man, so, not for. and for all of you know that the beast boy is my you know image of choice for everything so <laughs> <laughs> peter what you got oh, well i wanted the werewolf by night book but i couldn't find it because I didn't have it because I passed on it for $30 at the flea market and didn't have enough cash on me at the time and by the time oh. I did, I didn't have the book because it was sold. <laughs> I wanted a Ghost Rider, I think it's six, that also had a transformation, but I couldn't find that so I decided to go with a modernish variant, this uh, oh. Phoenix variant because I just love this cover. It got I hot for a little while, but I just love this image of her just turning into the Phoenix, the burning, the feathers, it's just I, I don't know the uh, first name of the artist, but it's Sing. It, it's it's gorgeous to me. That's a pretty it cover. Is. It I is gorgeous. That's one of my favorite. That whole oh, that I loved it when I saw that. Oh, there's the a wall. great lot of variants on that. There that was is it number wow. one, I think. Yeah, is that the one with the with the umbrella and uh, that, that? Oh no, the number one has the prison like eyes. The eyes really draw you into the, the prison uh, phoenix variant on the yeah. number one. Man, I love that one. Book. It's a great choice. But yeah, went that way. It's beautiful. All right, Chris, what do you got? So I'm going with uh, one of my spec plays. Is pick them up every time I see them. Going with the Sentry, but this is a uh, one uh, one one shot Sentry versus the Void. Um, uh, if you know a little bit of the story, it's a great Jay Lee cover. But uh, the Sentry is actually the Void, so you got you actually truly yeah. get the transformation as the, the struggle of not knowing and everything. It's one of those great. Superman stories where man he's f he's screwed up and you're like what the heck's going on but uh it's a great cover I mean this entire run this first run of the century beautiful coverage there's a great Saint Hulk cover in there um 
and there's really good. I, I I like the concept of him. I don't like him when he's in the new Avengers, but I like the concept from the short run. Can I call this because I don't think Ben's going to play this book, but a book that I feel like one of you guys should have played and nobody did. One eighty seven. I was going to go with Hulk one hundred six. I don't have it. Hulk one hundred six, where he's transforming from Hulk to Banner in the background. I looked. I went with like, you know, Rampage behind me, and I think three seventy. Had so four. many books that were like we just so rehashed it, but I, I wanted to do Rampaging twenty three, which is the same thing. Yeah, but I didn't have a copy. Well, Steve, you can go with a, a premiere, a one hundred two, or whatever. Is it yeah. yeah. transform on the cover of that? What do you got, Ben? I will say this. I thought someone was going to go with one, uh, Strange Adventures 187 Animal. Oh, that was I have, a good one. Uh, the mm. next one, where's in the costume? So I held, I mean, I didn't hold back. I, I'm firmly satisfied with my three choices. I feel uh, like I went pretty I obscure with Botwana, though. Yeah. <laughs> for the third book, I mean, for the second book, I almost went with the Hulk one because yeah. it's, I mean, that's pretty that's, good. Yeah. But, yeah, but I figured Journey was deeper. But you showed it in the background of one of the last, last episodes. Uh, honestly, the deciding factor was it's a PGX. <laughs> <laughs> we shouldn't display that rubbish unless the zombies are coming. No. So I'm going to crack it and send it um, in to get created from somebody. I, I bought it raw. So anyway, sorry. Um, for my third book, uh, I went kind of twofold here. Um, the first... EC uh, horror book. It's called. It's considered the new trend. Um, and the first book to do that was sort of be released in the new trend. Uh, oh yeah, is this? Ooh. So it's not necessarily the first pre-code horror book. It's absolutely the first EC uh, new trend horror. And it's uh, there's the werewolf back there. Uh, I see him. Oh yeah. So. But more it's importantly, like, it's one of the most important books in at least that area history of... Was it a title change or just a history. trend change? Crypt of Terror is... It's Crypt of Terror 17, 18, 19, and it comes out of Crime Patrol 15, 16. Mm-hmm. It goes Crime Patrol 15, 16, Crypt 17, 18, 19, Tales from the Crypt 20 through... Yeah. I'm tangenting hard. No, but I mean, I yeah. think that's important uh, that, information that because exactly. it transitioned right there. Yeah, but this is this is literally the transition. This is the yeah, first no Marvel now number ones. No, and the first horror story in an EC comic was Moon Girl Five, but the first new trend, which starting with this this Johnny Craig masterpiece, we get nothing but gold for the next well. It's not that long. It's like two or three years, but it's a great two or three years. Right. Right. Yeah. So that was my book three. You had All a right. hell of a run. Wow. <laughs> I tried. <Yeah. laughs> well, for that, Ben, you get to name the next episode. What are we going to do next? Vampires. I've been waiting. Damn. Vampires. I think right. we're all on the same page. Yeah. 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 Morello's been chomping used, a bit for vampires. He's used Vampirella yeah. twice now. So, I mean, Oh, no, I'm gonna try not to use Vampirella. I, I had to wait Vampirella. till we weeded out enough Vampirella covers from him. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so thank you all for this week. It's a good show, and uh, check out the channel every night of the week. We've got new content coming daily. Here's the schedule. Thank you all. We'll see you next week. Yeah.